Early season whitetails, it all starts with your preparation. Food, cover, and water. From bed to food, food to bed, that's what you're concentrating on is food sources. Another thing we love about early season is a lot of the youth hunt starts. And in this particular hunt, this is a father-son hunt, pro staff member, Clint Wommeldorf and his son, Dalton. Early season whitetails, it all starts with your preparation. Getting those trail cameras ready, Take an inventory of your whitetails to know what's there. Getting your bow tuned up, going to the bow shop, getting everything lined out. Get out there, start shooting and practicing, knowing your equipment. Once you find that particular whitetail that you're looking for, Hey, go ahead and get the twisted timber tree stands, get everything set up out there, and be ready for opening day. Now, if it's legal to feed, I love to use the Antler Extreme products, the all-in-one, also the Power Crunch to mix with corn or whatever. But the main thing I really like is the Crater Maker Mineral, and I try to keep that out year round when I can. Now you've got an inventory, you know what you're gonna be hunting, but be prepared. Also know where your other food sources are, such as your acorns, maybe you've got an alfalfa field, corn, soybeans, whatever the situation is, concentrate on what they're gonna be on. Because like early season soybeans, when they're real green, that's what I wanna focus on, that or alfalfa green products. With whitetails, food, cover, and water. Early season like this, what you're concentrating on is from bed to food. They're in a regular routine. Early morning, I like to get back closer to the bedding areas. In the evenings, you want to concentrate more on the food. Smoking buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. He's a dandy too, buddy. Thank you, good Lord, for that. What a hunt here, Big Sky Country, Montana. Jackson in the tree, our first shot. Oh, buddy, look what time it is. That's a dandy. That is what we came to Montana Powder River Outfitters for. A lot of times what you want to do, if you can find a place that you can observe and watch from a long distance, you can find these little pinch points or funnel areas that the deer go through. Also, you can get a trail camera set up in there to find out where they're going to and from. It's kind of a transition area from food to bed, from bed to food. North Dakota, it's early season. We're right in there, there's standing corn, but we're also in that transition area right there where the little bedding area is, there's food covering water. We set up in there, had the trail cameras, knew what bucks were there. Guess what? Buck comes right through that little transition area, traveling the edge of the timber and the corn. 30 yard shot, big buck down. <laughs> Smoke, buddy. Smoke. Smoke. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I love it. Y'all, that's my first buck of the, of the year, of the season. He's hard horn. I was hoping for a velvet that you want to take him. Yes. <laughs> Brad, 
This has been awesome, buddy. Absolutely. Thank you for the invite, man. Just one little hole, but we made it count. It didn't go nowhere. And best of all, I got to share it with good friends and make memories. And that's what we love to do is share the virtue. Stretchback Dual Grunt Call by Dual Game Call. What I love about it, it's fully adjustable for different sounds. It's right in here like this, has dual chambers for that most realistic sound. But listen to this. Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you don't wanna leave home without this, besides your bow, that's, that's the secret weapon right there. Let me introduce you to Clint Womendorf. He's one of my Kansas killers, if you will, and he loves to hunt with his son, Dalton. He's what I'm proud of you, dude. He did good. Where Clint and Dalton hunt there in Kansas on the family farm, I tell you what, they've got some good bucks down there and they spend a lot of time together. And hey, look at some of the encounters these guys have had now. Talk about some old sad daddies. There is your virtue moment. <laughs> what I love about Clint, Clint is, a, is an awesome daddy to Dalton. They do everything together. They go watch the Royals play baseball. Uh, Dalton's into several school academics, things like that. He loves to fish and hunt, and Clint has got him involved in there. It reminds me so much of myself with my daddy. There's, you, you can't replace those moments. And Clinton has done such an incredible job with Dalton. And, and Dalton, hey, is so deserving to get that elite in his hand. And you know what? I'm so honored to have these guys as part of the virtue. We're out here for our second hunt at this stand. It's actually our first evening hunt out, so we're hoping that we can get in and get it done tonight. We've had a really tall eight show up and a really heavy 10, so we're hoping that we can get one of them in, and if we're lucky, we'll be able to get one down. So come on and let's hopefully go get one. Well, it's the second night of youth deer season here in Kansas, and I'm out again to try to get my first kill with a bow. But we still gotta wear orange just because of the fact that you can also rifle hunt your youth season, but it's pretty warm out tonight, but we're hoping that the deer will keep their same patterns and come through and we can finally get one down. So stick with us and we'll see what happens. Let's do it. He was standing still on a shot. Let's just hope he's down. He moved a little bit at the end and that shot was kind of far back, but I mean, 
He was standing still on the right as I pulled, he moved, but... That's all right. We don't move anybody. That's a big eight we made. I know. <laughs> we'll have to play it back, see how it Yeah, I mean, he was standing there, and I thought, man, he's standing right still. I got it right on him. He moved right as I shot. I mean, he's a little far back, but let's just hope for the best. Dalton, buddy, what an unbelievable buck for your first buck with a bow, or anything for that matter. That's an awesome buck. You done great. Clint, awesome job videoing the hunt. You guys have an unbelievable relationship as father-son, and I tell you right now, that just touches my heart. We found him. Only part that sucks is, looks like the coyotes got a hold of him when he came down here, so. I guess that's what happens when you wait overnight, but we didn't really have any other option. Definitely a good hunt, probably one of the best deer I've ever had. It's definitely gonna be one we're gonna get mounted. So, it's looking pretty good. Decent eight. You know, y'all, this is a classic example of spending quality time with your son or daughter. And in this case, just look at the bond that they've got together here and the memories that they got to cherish. And, and they got it all on video to watch over and over and over to show their kids, their grandkids, on and on and on. Thanks for sharing this moment with us. You guys are an awesome part of the virtue. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.